previously on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Adventuring is all well and good, but don't forget to get enough sleep. Oh my God, this chick is such a buzzkill. Make sure to get enough sleep, plenty of exercise, and also make sure to balance your diet with plenty of fruits and grain, and also- Okay, all right, I'm done with you. All right, back to Pyra. And now back to Rex in his big stupid pants. Hey! Sneako B, back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Hey, look, Tora's doing the Ricky dance. I think it was doing the Ricky dance. Do it again, Tora, do it. Do it again. I'm gonna wait for a second. I think he did the exact Ricky dance. He'd like hop up and down and then did a little spin. Maybe it's just like the classic no pawn dance or something. Okay, there he goes. It, no, it's a little different. He does like, <laughs> do the locomotion with me. Come on, baby. Do the locomotion. It's a little different, but I like that he's got to dance like Ricky. I think it's very important and very funny to watch the little fat nope on dancer. <laughs> Poppy's got her own crazy dance too. <laughs> what? What is that? Bobby looks like she lost her contacts and she's just trying to find them somewhere. But anyway, when we last left off, we spent a good bit of time looking for Nia, run around town doing some random side quests, finding some stolen wood, and then dying for that wood, getting one shot at by a fucking monkey, and then helping Tora to uh, awaken his artificial blade. And in doing so, we also uncovered Tora's horribly deviant side. Especially when his cupboard opened and we saw all of the horrible, dank, gross stuff in there. Fucking BDSM, gimp suits, whips. Oh, head tie as far as the eye could see. It was, ah, ah. <laughs> Some truly, truly disgusting shit. And Pyra just looked at him. Looked at him with that fucking judgy face like, What the fuck, Tora? What the fuck? And Tora stood there, had no words. He knew he'd been caught. And once this let's play is done, he is going to horny jail. I'm expecting at some point, Taurus is going to stick his face, like put it right in fucking Pyra's tits. It's like, boosh, and go, ah, have a fucking nosebleed. And that's how he dies, right? That'll be his amazingly emotional character death. And I just can't wait. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. To be fair, and, and you guys did clarify, because sometimes I think I forget this. So it's technically not actually horny what was happening okay i thought it was it's not it's what's called moe which is super cute shit, right and technically that is not really meant to be horny basically what tora was likely doing was he was dressing her up in like maid outfits and stuff because of the super cute kawaii shit. but that doesn't necessarily mean horniness it's still embarrassing and a little weird, but it's also Japan. I think I took it up as a bit more skeevy than that, but I'm actually glad that it's like, okay, if it's something like that, it's a little more innocent, embarrassing, weird, but also not like him literally fucking Poppy. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That is where my brain was going. I'm like, what is going on here? So like the maid outfits were like, you know, it's like what happens with Miyuri, right? In Steins Gate, where she gets the maid outfit and she has the little cat ears and, and Ferris Nyan Nyan, you know, that is, that is literally, they have like maid cafes for that exact purpose. However, I do have one thing I want to bring up to you guys. All right. One thing that I do, again, I have a question for that. I don't know if I have an answer. Why was Poppy broken? If Poppy has seemingly already been brought to life at some point because she was already programmed with the whole master shit, right? And we have outfits of her, which means that right at some point she must have been awake. Why was she broken? Why do we need to repair her? New day, everyone. Shut up, Rex. I'm asking a good question here. Listen, I get that the insinuation here was that she'd never woken up, but I don't know if I believe that. So just mull that over, all right? I look forward to seeing the infinite number of comments trying to explain that one. Okay, but in reality, uh, that's good, actually. That really does actually improve Tora's image for me a bit. That was it. That's just that little... He's just wanted to dress her up cute and have her do the maid thing, and then that's about all there is to it, so... So that said, apparently the remark that Gramps said about fucking Pyra and prostitution was apparently totally on the mark, because in the Japanese version, it was way more explicit. He said, you're not going to use your body to, and then that's when he cut him off. Wow. Holy crap. Damn, old man. See, the old man gets it, though. He's like, yeah, these these designs are insane. Look at this shit. Does no one else notice the tits on this chick and her booty shorts? Is it just me? Does nobody else notice Rex's pants? Is that also just me? 
But anyway, you guys also left me a ton of very useful tips uh, last episode. Uh, and someone who went over quite, quite a few things was uh, Studio One, who last episode said, for your concerns about the field skills, you don't need to worry. The game's designed to have pretty forgiving requirements for required field skill locations. If you just play normally with some blades on the back burner, it'll probably never become an issue. As for Adonine's exclusive skill, that's kind of a gimmick skill. Many rare blades have those, but make no mistake, those are not required for most, if any, field skill checks. They're mainly used in stuff exclusive to that blade, so it's not really a hindrance. There's one blade that suffers from this, but that's seen later when you get them. Now, does this mean the field skill system is perfect? No. Even the fans of this game can agree that it can be annoying, if only because field skills will only act of it if you have the corresponding blades in your party. This means you have to constantly switch around blades to pass some of the tests, and it can be annoying, but that's really the worst it gets. And it also adonized my favorite blade, so it's a tree seeing you get her as your first rare. I hope you, she serves you well. Hey, thank you. I actually just see a lot of you guys apparently who were like, holy shit, you got adonine, and people were super hyped about that. I guess that's she's a really popular one and can be pretty useful too in fights. So cool, but well, that's good. I'm glad that the field skill thing that maybe isn't gonna be too, too bad. I saw other people say too, that like generally it's really the optional stuff where the field skills will really get like kind of crazy. But for main story content, you, if you just want to go straight through to the end, you would really not have much of an issue with it. So, okay, good, good. But Studio One, thank you so much for your uh, helpful comment. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. Okay, you guys also looked quite a few other tips. So let me just try to go through them rather quickly. One, there is apparently a monster or somewhere around in this area. I don't know if it's in the village or in the, the world map around this area, but there's like a level one monster, all right? Don't kill it. Because <laughs> apparently if you kill it, he will die and not come back. And he's really do a quest. Okay, good to know. I did just like attack that one driver guy, right? Earlier with, with, for no provocation. He wasn't even doing anything. He was just standing there. And I immediately was like, oh, let's try killing it. So I can totally see myself having done that by accident. I actually want to ask too, and this is actually a question for you guys. Are there any quests or potentially a subsection of quests that get cut off in this game? I am actually curious. You don't have to answer like when it is or what quests there are or whatever. I don't want to know that much detail, but I just want to know, are there cutoff quests in this game like that are timed based on like main story progression and i asked that because that was a big thing that was in the last game where there was like two or three sections in particular where quests that you had were going to get cut off and you would not be able to come back and do them in, after a certain point in the game in fact there were quite a few sections that were cut off entirely after you reached certain points and it made sense according to the plot right that that would happen but it did kind of suck in, in terms of like, okay, I have to do all this shit right fucking now, right? I can't like spread it out. I got to do it now. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I'm going to necessarily try to do everything in this game because I still don't know what even either the scope of it is and to how enjoyable is it, right? And also how viable is it? But it is something I, I want to think about and consider when progressing. If there's going to be a moment like, oh, I'm going to have to stop and try to, if I, if I want to try to experience all the side stuff or see if there's anything interesting that I would have to like stop and like, okay, don't go any further. You got to do this stuff. You guys also mentioned the uh, the Tiger Tiger mini game in order to, in, for progressing with it. Apparently there's absolutely no reason not to use easy. Apparently easy was something that was actually added after the game was released because people were complaining about, I guess how tough it was. And all it does is literally remove your, the ability to take damage when touching walls, which makes it a lot less of a pain. I mean, apparently there's a bunch of bonus objectives in there that if you complete, you get a whole lot more ether and i did all of them actually i actually tried off screen it was like getting all the chests all the crystals not killing any enemies not taking any damage i mean i got like 1600 ether or something so as well as a few other things i am kind of curious how you unlock additional stages maybe it just progresses as you move through the game maybe but we ended up getting quite a few ether crystals from the dlc so i think we should be pretty good for a while but another thing you guys did to mention too is i can actually sell the ether crystals that I have that I'm, I'm getting like the extra ones that I don't need to use and go in here and just sell them to also get some pretty easy crystals. So cool. All right. Very useful. And apparently yes, Poppy can be very good. You guys said you can actually make her like super buff, which makes sense. She definitely seems like the blade with the most flexibility, right? So she is, you kind of make her into whatever you want. Though I did see some of you say that probably keeping her like with some of her base stuff, like with the, the tank abilities is probably good because 
Unfortunately, you can't change Taurus stuff, which does lean more, in, more into attracting aggro, right? Lending more to being a tank. Though it's funny, his HP is nowhere near as insane as what fucking Ricky's was. Like, Ricky's was like twice as what Shulk's is. It's actually less than what Rex has, but I also have Rex with the that armor shit too, which increases like his HP by like 25%, but yeah, it's actually not a defense stat at all. So there's so many like sort of unorthodox things in this game. I gotta say, it's really, it really does take a while to wrap your mind around. For example, the strength thing down on the bottom right there that is actually not an indicator of your the actual strength of like the attack power of the the blade it is actually indicative of like how much affinity stuff you've gotten it's like a it's kind of like a general like reference of like how powerful they are which is really confusing when combined with all this other shit which i guess shows that pyra is pretty damn good because i've been using her the most then add nine and then i just got her so she doesn't have much yet but okay again just like what how is anyone supposed to figure this shit out it really does go to show how much like a not great ui can sort of affect your like understanding of a game especially when it's got as much kind of unusual stuff in it like this game seems to have like really unorthodox stuff you guys also give me a few other battle tips but uh, i think we're gonna go ahead and move on before i take up any more fucking time basically not to i don't need to auto cancel as much as i am i'm actually reducing my uh my total damage output by doing that wait what the hell is this meh, meh, meh. Oh, basics of Tiger one and oh, uh, why didn't you just give this to me before Tora? What the hell is this? Like, explain how the game works. Thanks. I think I'm already pretty far into that now. Oh my God. It really is. Move in the directions. Attack with a man, man. Friend must attack jellyfish from above. Trolls from bottom. Except you actually don't because there's a, there's an objective that's for not killing any enemies. There's a power up that will let you attack diagonal. See, this like shit like that like why was that tutorial separate from all the other tutorials we've got in this game right why is that like the separate item you had to find and we didn't tell you like i don't know why the fuck not everything else though we're gonna throw that right in your fucking face all right let's go save uh let's go save nia it's raining too oh boy there is titan warship hmm quite the impressive titan Another sign that Morardin is readying once more for war with Uriah. Look, that route goes right to the ship, just like Pyra said. Yes, yes! Conveniently placed route. We should be able to climb down over here. Let's go. Okay. Off we go! Understood. I'm gonna jump down there and break my legs. Come on, Rex. You've got the pants withstand it, all right? And I believe in it. I believe in you. Do it, Rex. Fucking do it. All right. I've got this shit. Watch this, Pyra. Oh. <laughs> Fucking, that was your death scream? Ugh. Damn it. It seemed like it was totally going to work. What happened? What happened? Master Pawn, you can do it. Master Pawn, why do you follow Rex to death? I did it, though. He, he just jumped off on his own. Well, it seemed like a good idea. Oh, there it is. I found him. Wow. Look at, look at you. Wow. Really? That is kind of a dick move. I mean, I guess in the context of this, you could probably look at it and be like, okay, I probably shouldn't kill it because none of the other ones are attackable, only the baby. But still, why? <laughs> why would they design it like this? Why would they make it so I could kill this thing? And this guy probably like, what the hell? What are you doing? We had an auto and cap ball recently. Take a look. Isn't he adorable? The only thing is, usually when these beauties give birth to a bunch of calves at once, for some reason this one was their own only child. So they'll go take extra good care of him. Oh, I see. Hey, you're the drivers, right? Hey, but, uh, yes, 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 I say off screen. <laughs> if you've got time to spare, would you help me look after the calf? Okay, so you're saying you don't want me to kill it. What? No, because I was thinking about it. I was thinking about killing him and eating him. The hell? It's all right, though. The penguins talked me out of it. But I was really thinking about it. Don't have to do much. Just give him a feed every once in a while. I don't really have any reward off, but looking for after an animal might make a nice change from battling for you. Interacting with all kinds of different people should help him grow up big and strong. Well, come around anytime. Don't let friends handle it. Okay, how do I do that and not kill it? Brought some food? Okay, just give it to you. So he always says limits to what he can eat. Anyway, if you have something you'll enjoy, go ahead and feed him. So glitter spud. Oh, he likes hot oranges. Great, I've got plenty of that. 
Oh, hey, all right. Ruby Mangosteen. Okay, get making big. Make him big and strong. I guess this is shit I can probably only find and not go buy somewhere. Otherwise, it'd be way too easy. Seriously, what would I have done if I had killed this thing and then talked to this guy? I'd been like, just like completely fucking appalled that I did that. Well, that was kind of fucked up of you. Why would you do that? Because I'm in an RPG and I can do whatever the fuck I want. Oh, hey, are these? Oh, wait, no. These are meaty carrots. I do whatever I fu fuck I want, like run around and steal your crops. What are you going to do? Try and stop me? I'm the chosen one. I can do whatever the heck I want to do. Meaty carrots, sumpkin. Oh, there's the hot orange. I do really like this music. Holy shit. The daytime theme of this area is pretty bumping. It'd be funny if I, if I end up feeding this thing and it gets really big and then it just kills me when it gets older. Wouldn't that be a beautiful ending to the story? Have one more a hot orange for the road. All right, it's been like, I think five days since Nia got captured. She's probably dead, but uh, just in case, we'll go try and save her. Okay, now in reality, how do I get down there and not eat shit? Meh, meh, meh. Bye bye, daytime. Bye bye, Master son. Master worked hard today. What have we here? Did we? Did we do much? Uh oh. Okay. Am I actually gonna like hardcore parkour this horse shit? How the fuck am I doing this? You just come around this way? Okay, all right. I think this is doing all right. And then like, ah! Oh, oh yeah, no, we're, we're doing it. We're getting there. Seems like a real security failure right here. <laughs> I, have I have arrived at the treetop <laughs> path. All in one piece. We call it treetop path because it's a path from a treetop. Everybody knows about this treetop path. So again, why do we park our giant impenetrable battleship next to it? Actually, how am I gonna... Can I actually traverse this? Uh, Poppy, you wouldn't happen to be built with a grappling hook, would you? Poppy exists only to serve Master Pawn with delicious treats and hentai. All right, never say that to me ever again, please. <laughs> I just realized, actually, Poppy's a funny little walk animation. When she struts, like... Ah, oh, shit! Poppy! Uh-oh. Well, this is, uh... Gonna hurt... A lot. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whee! Rex, Rex, why you kill us all? <laughs> what happened? Master Pawn, you can do it. You can do it, Master Pawn! Hold on, wait. I got a great idea. Let's see what Tora says when he dies of painful death. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh my God, Tora, really? You're gonna say meh every time I jump? Is there to make sure I'm never gonna fucking control you? All right, die, die, Tora. Tora can fly! <laughs> Holy shit! He really holds that last meh. Meh, meh, meh! Yeah, we'll control, we'll control Ricky for a bit. Just to spice some shit up. He's gonna be the one taking all the, all the punches. What's this shield he's got, too, is it? Oh, wait, is it actually a... Oh, it's a no pawn. It's upside down, but it's like a no pawn holding a nut. A big nut. Or a big golden poo. Which you must have gotten from getting all those Koroxies in Breath of the Wild. Looks pretty high. Yeah. Give me a moment. Oh. Right. I have... Grappling hook? Have I seen that before? I feel like we have seen that before. Yeah. Also, I use it to grab potions. Well... I don't know about you guys, but, uh... Pyra, you first. I'll pull you up, so hold tight. Please tell me you have something to grab onto. <laughs> Holy shit. So heavy. Uh, what? what did you say? Uh, oh, God. Here we go. Yow! You weigh a billion pounds. You're like this weird robot thing. Now, look here, Rex. You can't just go and call a lady heavy. Oh, Rex Rex, a little tactless. What? She's like 2B. Sorry about that. I guess I was just surprised. No, no, it's not your fault. I... <laughs> God damn it. Ooh, she heavier than Tora for sure. <laughs> but that 
just mean Pyra grown to impressive height. It is good thing. Pyra should be proud. Uh -oh. Poppy's gonna go over there and punch the fuck out of Rex. Poppy, pull Pyra up. Please grab again. Damn. Poppy strong. Pyra, do you really weigh more than fucking Tora though? Tora's fat as shit. Look at him. Nice, Poppy. He's all fat, no muscle. Poppy, artificial blade. This is no problem. Poppy could lift Gonzalez if necessary. <laughs> Pyra's like, ah! Gonzalez? Wait, isn't that a, wasn't that also a monkey? I can't remember that. Why is she ask, acting like I should know what that is? Isn't that the name a unique name for a monster? Like the territorial rock part? All right, let's do it again. You can actually walk back. Oh, my shit, I can't. Well, I guess we're fucked. Oh, shit. Did curiosity fuck me up here? Or maybe I just fall and die. Say it again, Tora. Do it. That was poorly judged. <laughs> that was a very stupid decision. Ah, oh, shit. Uh oh. How do I get back up there? Is there not a warp point? I was just curious to see what would happen if I came down here. Is coming down here really your fucked? That can't be right. It has to be something. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. There we go. We're fine. I had to pick a different map. There we go. I was about to be like, no fucking way. Did I actually fuck myself? And they're like, that would have been a massive oversight. Mala Soft is too, too smart to make that mistake. All right, here we go. Oh shit, I see some dank Do buggies. Alright, I'm gonna whack you with a shield. Oh no, you don't. Thanks for that. Spinning kata! Oh, I actually put the wrong move on uh Holy shit. So he's got a topple move. Which I think comes after break. But sadly, Rex doesn't have a break move, at least not on this blade. Oh shit. But I, I unlocked uh, Tora's uh, ability to unlock his X move, but I forgot the X, the X input is technically the the Y input for other controllers. And I want to put his uh, attract physical or uh, aggro, this move. Hit me. Oh, he switched to, Oh, interesting. Rex switched over to Ad Adonai on his own. All right, another thing you guys mentioned to me, too, is that... Um, oh, shit! Is that the blocking in this game is automatic. It's just based on a stat. I gave a chance of doing it. So, I see. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. Tora. All right, with that, we're just gonna switch right back to Rex. Tara, enjoy playing you for all of two seconds. Until I didn't. Poppy's battle sense increased. For example, there we go. Now increases block rate, so we, we blocked a few attacks. And you tell when it's blocked, as you'll see that little shield pop up. Gotcha. Dance music. Get industrial sounding. <laughs> You guys got a lot of shit on your ship. Do you know that? Oh. Wow, world has many amazing places in it. Yes, like a side to my boat. Enjoy you for a bit. It's incredible. Oh shit. Hey okay. dipshit, time, time to, to die. You down. I could just we sneak, sneak this past together. this guy, but fuck that. Oh, I'm so slow, fuck. Hey, how's it going? So yeah, I can't rely too much on this. Like this is really used to build up your moves, but in terms of actually doing your combos, it's better to do the full thing and then do it alongside this so you do more damage. So gotcha. Yeah, I think I was, I was doing the uh, the stagger move a little too much. All right, remember to change over Poppy or a uh, Taurus thing. I think setting his, uh, the move that he already has from the get-go, the spinning cutter. Yeah, this one would be good. So he will immediately draw aggro right at the start of a fight. But I haven't seen anyone answer this. So if I'm understanding right, right? Like this one is not actually 
like the only ones I can pick from are these, right? This one is not actually pickable, I believe. So you basically have to pick out of three out of your four to, to put in the fight. Because that seems to be the case. Unless there's like an input for this that I'm missing. You guys can clarify that. Tora hungry, I'm coming for them. I can't pause it. Fuck. Oh my god, I can't pause the reaction. What the fuck, Tor? I just fucking said. <laughs> fucking die, dude. <laughs> Fighting make Tora toasty, toasty. If you really want to feel toasty, give me some ingredients in half an hour. Shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> Tora goes. Tora's hungry and coffee. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't even know what he actually said, but the first thing I heard was him. <laughs> Tora is hungry and coming. <laughs> and, and that's all I heard. And immediately fucking... <laughs> oh my God, immediately killed me. And he's coming to help or something, but all I heard was the first part. Tora is hungry and coming. <laughs> fucking what? What, Tora? You're, you're hungry and what? <laughs> That's what happened with Todd not getting enough food. He fucking. So it's a turn off his. Oh, fu oh shit. Yes. Brute force activated. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Don't give me that look. Uh, so. Oh shit. Did we reach it? I think we did. Masterpon. Poppy can feel there is a blade in the vicinity. Oh, but how can Poppy tell that? Unclear. Poppy feel other blade like wave in air. How the fuck is that possible? Uh, I'm not sure I get it, but maybe Dromark is nearby. Let's try opening up some of these doors. Big kitty. Hopefully there's not a crabble behind one for some reason. We imprison this crabble. He's wanted in many states. I think Dromar knows we're coming too. He's like, oh shit. Better it's chow time. Oh shit. Just fucking staring right at that stuff. Get down. Um I didn't hurt anyone, did I? Everyone check your eyebrows. I'm sorry. It's hard to judge the power sometimes. Pyra. Rex. Dromark. It's good to see you alive. I almost it's wasn't, though. Very good. Ah! See, Master Pond? There was a blade here. Who the fuck are those two? <laughs> Master Titan. And forgive me, but who are they? I, 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 I. By the way, I, did, I will say, I did also notice I, when I went, I watched like a couple of scenes in the Japanese dub just because I was kind of curious to what it sounded like, but I did notice the lip syncing is matched with the Japanese dub. I don't think it's matched with the English dub here. Dromark. We don't have much time. Do you know where Nia is? But of course, we are in residence after all. I feel her presence. Then let's go. We can't let her get executed. Indeed, this way. Interesting how they're kept very separate from each other. I guess maybe if they were to, they were too close to, to each other, they'd be able to like draw each other's power or whatever. Damn, I can't ride on Dromart's back. I want to ride on the kitty's back. No, only Lady Nia is allowed to do that. But I will accept any scratches you may give me. All right. You come here, you big kitty. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh. oh, that's that good shit. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, ah, all right. You're going too deep. All right, please, Rex. Save those kind of scratches for the bedroom. Wow. I actually just realized how much easier it's going to be to, like, fuck around with Poppy's stuff and the ox cores with her than it is to do it normally. Because normally it's like... I, I can't even just equip this shit that I fought. I gotta go, like, take it to an ox core thing and then spend items on getting that actual ox core before I can use it. With her, I just gotta spend some ether crystals and bada bing, bada boom. Granted, I can't get all of them, but I mean, it's still, like, yeah, way, uh, way easier to do. Oh, yeah, see, now her strength is up to 10 for some reason. She got stronger. I also notice that you seemingly can't go in and change her element. I mean, there's only just the basic elements. It's not like some upgraded version of each one but I can't actually do anything. I need a technical manual. And for whatever reason, the, the dark one, the energy consumption for this one is the highest. I wonder if that makes it, does that mean it's the best? 
Is it more the most versatile or something? Oh, I think I basically took a shortcut to where I need to go. Yeah, by going through that vent. <laughs> Power just goes fucking running past them. Let's show them a thing or three. Yeah, show them a thing of three. Oh man, I'm so fucking slow though. Why is this doing my job? So ZL. Oh shit, well. Never mind, they're dead. We don't need to do it. Valve. I'm going to turn this for some reason. Ah, that works. Meh. Morning already. Meh. How Morning can you already. tell? All right, all we all have ready. watches on. I haven't. I can't see. Oh, there's the deflect right there where my attack bounced off of him. Get the booty. Hopefully this doesn't pop over the... Damn it. Tell like what I didn't want to have happen. Falls over the edge. Ow. Poppy, do this. Poppy power! Yeah, so those are like pretty much given field skills that, you know, I already have the thing for it. Uh, ZL. Just to switch to you for a bit. I can see that you place great trust in you. Yes, I place great trust in you. That is why I'm using your fist to punch this guy. My boy. Your book fist. It's yeah, it's interesting. So this one's like uh, the timing on the, the cancel is actually kind of different because each hit, each like combo hit is technically multiple hits, but each hit seems to be each of the multiple hits too is actually building up the gauge. So sometimes I think it actually might be better to let them hit multiple times than it is to cancel out of the first hit like it is with the sword. World has many amazing places. Yes. Oh, now we're in the, now we're in middle of ship. All right, well, they're just uh, these guys sleeping in their quarters. Wow, there is a guy sleeping in the quarter. Hey, wake the fuck up, dickheads. Wake just the fuck this. up. Quiet, uh, 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 uh. Fucking punching this dude. Uh, well, let me just go ahead and slowly get myself up. Um, uh, oh, dear, we're under attack. Oh, dear me. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. I think he goes to sleep with his sword. Oh, well. Not that it did him much good. Fucking punch the shit out of you. Get him. Uh, Holy shit, I'm just punching. Wow, that was a long move. Take this. Excellent. I think I left the fight and then came back in. Wait, is we still alive? Oh, hey. What's up, man? It's the sergeant. What's the shit out of you? Everyone's getting all amped up. Bullet punch. Yeah, it's interesting the way the, this is set up. It sort of ensures that the longer a fight goes on for, so technically the boss fights, you're going to be using your more powerful moves more than likely, right? If you're trying to save up for like a level four, because otherwise you're probably going to be killing the enemies before you actually get to that point. Damn. There's a lot of shit in here. I guess the size isn't just uh, on the outside. It's also size on the inside. Who would have thought? Hi, dog. Wow, they don't see me. Just gonna Treasure go ahead and... That dog is not very good at tracking people, is he? Very, very good at sniffing, are you, okay. you dumb dog? Bring Shit! Ah, fuck! Ah, punching! Uh. Oh, shit. This looks promising. No doubt about it. That's the place. No doubt to doubt it. Who are you people? They're the terrorist friends. Terrorist we are friends. friends. But I won't let you call her a terrorist. I'm gonna put the sword away and put my fisticuffs on. Do it like I showed you and we'll be okay. What the hell are you talking about, Grant? It's not like the Gramps said do something about like, would you like to see my VHS video about drafts? Sorry, what? Gramps, what are you talking about? We're in the middle of a fight. This isn't a good time for this. But I see you're still senile, even in baby form. Boom. Power of friendship and magic. 
punching, 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 lots of punching. Get up, pot, or, uh, fucking Tora. I guess got like a. Why does they have? Like, he has like a little marker over his level there. What, what does that mean? Does it mean like he's super buff and oh shit, I'm taking some damage, boy. Ugh. You can't escape. Good. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh man, we're all juiced up. Look at us. Look at that bond. Look, that's the bond of friendship, as Rex would say. Nia's sad. She got sad cat ears. They droopy. Hello. Nomura sent me. We invite you to the next Final Fantasy game. Jin? You all right, Nia? Nope, it's me. Damn it. Rex, you... My lady, apologies for my late arrival. Good kitty. Don't mention it. I didn't think anyone was coming at all. As if we'd leave you. Always help those who help you. That's the second rule of the Salvages Code. Well, that's you all over, ain't it? Rex, Rex! Tora has found escape route! Hurry, hurry! Anopon? He has been of some assistance. We made a new friend. But mostly not. Uh, nice to meet you. Well, I think we've overstayed ah, our welcome ah, here. Ah, Time to get moving. Yeah, there's a lot of weird shit that's happened. We explain it, but, you know, fucking big ship. All right. Leah's back. She's only level eight. I ain't gonna buff you out, girl. All right. I think we got a full party again. Looks like you got Nia back, so you know what that means. Time for another fucking tutorial. Now you got three members in your party. I should explain them about roles and classes. Blades are born with a role. Attacker, healer, tanks. For example, Pyra is an attacker and Dromark is a healer. The types of blades that a driver engages will determine their fighting style. Each driver, driver's fighting style will fall into certain categories called classes. Some classes emphasize attacks, some defense, some track balance roles. Each class has no special effects. So do you whether you want to engage your favorite blades or strategically select blades to achieve certain classes. Do whatever is best for your play style. Generally, blades can't change the roles. As an artificial blade, Poppy's the exception. She can change the role using her Poppy swap. Try your hand at Tiger Tire to try and get a hold of a role CPU that you need to change the Poppy's role and Poppy swap. Now, if you got all that, let's get back to the game and fucking run. While the tutorial's happening, there's like 30 guards outside. Oh shit, I took too long to tell you the tutorial. I'm sorry they come in here just to fucking kill me. Ah, ah, ah. My bad, Rex. Ah, fuck you, tutorial chan. You've got level one access key. All right, everybody's here. Tora's dancing. We're all juiced up. Most respect to Pyra. Let's go. Oh wait, let's do a let's do a pull for you then, Nia. I couldn't do this for for Tora at the start of this episode. I was like, man, I'll do a, a pull for like Tora for his blade. But I was like, oh wait, he can only have Poppy. But I can do for you. Get you a, your own rare blade potentially. So we'll put whatever whatever rare pull I get here. We'll put it on her. But I mean, you guys just say the common blades actually aren't totally useless. Apparently, the some of the four star rarity common blades are actually supposed to be very good, like insanely good. But yeah. The, the rare blades have set stats and, and affinity and things like that, while the common ones are random. So, gotcha. Okay. Nia, it's your time to shine. See if we can't pull something special for you. Wheel of Morality. Turn, turn, turn. Show us the gotcha that we should learn. Eh, just a basic bitch. With fisty caps though. I don't think I've seen this one. Uh, still cool looking. I will gladly lend you my Samugi! Blado Samugi! Got fisty caps! Blado! No, thank you, Samugi. Oh, this looks like something. Tumpty tum! What in the fuck? What in hey, the? Oh god! I'm Electra. Look at this guy, a character. Ah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what the fuck? Why? 
Why? I don't know what. This is your own power. Why are you crying? I don't know how things will turn out, but I'll do my best. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, uh, oh, oh, God. Ah! To Kawaii! Ah! Well, I guess I will take this. Is she a tank? Are you serious? Oh, Lord. Yeah, well, I said do the first rare one, so there we go. Let's sock it to him! Did she say wets? Wets sock it to them? Wait. Let's sock it to them! Sock it to me! Nia! Oh, oh dear. I, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't either. Increases aggro drawn by, from specials by 60%. Jesus. Yeah, this is a, uh, another tank, baby. An actual tank, baby. <laughs> I think about it. That is accurate. Unfortunately, until I get, like, the actual blades, like, a core chip or whatever, they're kind of weak, right? Their auto attack is not great because they always start off pretty basic until I get it. In terms of their, how much auto attack pet damage they can do. Holy shit, is that a... Is that a heart to heart? I think it is. See a handshake. That's the same symbol for a heart to hearts in the last game. Um, looks like this is the way to the hangar. Sounds like a way out of here. Meh, meh, meh. Door is locked, no way to open. Even Poppy probably not able to break through this, but we're so close. Rex, take a look over there. Good eyes. Could that be the switch to open it? We don't have many options, but to try. If it does open the door, we will surely be able to escape through the hangar. Then what are we waiting for? Looks like we have to leave this room for now and find a way up there. Gotta find a way to the switch. I see a heart to heart. Oh, it's above me. Yup, it sure fucking is. Yes, it seems like a very good place to have a heart to heart. We're trying to escape. There's no power going to it. Level two access. Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to the mess hall. I'm just gonna come in the kitchen and... Oh, my God. Hi. Hello. These guys don't give a shit. They're just the staff. I'm gonna steal your food. I'm just gonna walk around. <laughs> wow, these guys... La, 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 la. Just keep my distance. They don't give a shit. There's something down here. I see a treasure trove. How the... Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, shit. We fucking... Dark souls, souls in this shit. Treasure acquired. Treasure acquired. Holy moly. Damage heal. Other things. I can't see because the fucking camera. Hey, look what I found. I found the bridge. Congratulations. Congratulations. Way to fucking. <laughs> it's like he said that sort of sarcastically. <laughs> wow, congratulations. You found the bridge. Way to go. Good for you. Thank God everybody is just looking the other way. Starboard deck! Treasure acquired. Starboard booty! Yeah, I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say right off the bat, I'm not sure how I feel about these, like, additional equipping things that you can put on your blades. Now we're basically requiring... It's like the gyms from the last game, right? But they require an extra step now. Or suddenly I have to, uh, like, go take them to a shop before I can even fucking use them. I mean, I guess maybe the bright side is that it's like you can only, you only have to get the ones that you want. But I, I don't know. I mean, it's still going to end up having to require, like, extra grinding seemingly to get the materials to get the ones that you want, right? When I'd rather just have it, like, you know, and then to get rid of the ones I don't need. I don't know. It just seems like an additional step that I'm not sure if it's totally necessary. Granted, I'm, you know, at the start here, so that could change. Maybe I'll see the, the bigger picture here after a while, but... Meh, meh, meh. Bye-bye, daytime. Master Pond worked hard today. Master Pond didn't do jack shit. He ate my food and fucking stole my Dromar scratches, all right? Those scratches were for me, damn it! Now, now. There's not enough scratches to go around, okay? This is why we have this system. Damn it! I know, but still piss me off. Okay, now I'm gonna go to this side of the ship. The port side! And a door that goes nowhere. Oh, yeah, there's a salvage spot here, too. Very unusual spot here. Why not? We're in the area. Wait. Oh, dog! Shit, wow, that was actually... I think that was harder. Come back. 
I think the sweet spot for that one was way harder. All I got was crabs. Shit. God damn it, I fucking... My stupid brain pressing these buttons. I got used to the name Nintendo controller. Dude, I swear to God, I'm pressing this fucking button. Yeah, this one's way harder. Holy shit. Oh, no. No, no, no. Stay away. What? Oh, no. Well, I got a nice chest, but unfortunately, I took up a level 18 fucker. Oh, God. Is there any chance I could open this without aggroing you? Ah. Uh, yeah, we're going to die today, boys. We are really gonna die. I, I I don't I don't know if I. Yeah, our emotions are in tune. I feel I feel their emotions telling us that we are going to die. Ah shit, Tora's fucking dead. Get up, Tora. Okay, we're actually not getting our asses completely beat here. Oh shit. Ah, uh, get over to Nia. Nia, keep it together. Is there a limited number of times I can do that? I don't know. Probably. Ow. Wake me up. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, I think I stole all my stuff. Okay, good. Battle command. I see a chest. Don't mind me. Just going to walk by. Thank God these guys have absolutely awful vision. Wow, really? Really, really bad vision. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Not that bad, though. Uh oh, God. Gunfire from all sides. Uh, uh, uh. We're gonna be in the shade. Oh my god, here comes everybody. They're all so angry. Ah, oh my god, I keep going crazy. I don't know what's happening. Ah, ah. What am I even hitting right now? There's a dude in the wall. Ah, his it's exploded. Oh, oh my god, my switch is having a hard time keeping up with this shit. Fucking killed everybody. Emergency mode activated. No, give me the shit that's over there. Beast hood. Well, that went well. Ah, shit, there's so much. What you do over here taking valuable battle lessons? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That'd be very useful for those fights that we're definitely going to be a part of. Yep. Yep. What's in here? Ooh, ladder. Poppy power. Break that shit open. Ah, shit. Fuck. Hey, poppy power sucks. Oh, shit. Guy aggroed me through the vent. Starboard balcony. Uh oh. How's it going? No, come back. Where are you, where, where are you going? Oh, he told his friends on me. The second shit. So something I've noticed is that seemingly after I have used an ability, like my, uh, like I've got three elements I can choose from here, right? If I use one person's element, I, I then cannot immediately use the other person's element. So like whatever, like, gauge they built up to use it is then used up right like it's not just like we each get our own gauge for using a uh, special skill it seemingly is a gauge that we're all sharing to some extent because like using mine will then drain everybody else's too and then we're all then we all have to rebuild it back up again and that's sort of what i'm getting what in the fuck is that hey bro hey okay, bring it on. oh fighter this guy still hadn't noticed me yet No, maybe not, actually. And then... Wait, where'd the guy go? What? What the hell? Where is... What did... He fell! Come back! What? Oh, I got him! Go get him, Nia! You got it! 
Yeah. <laughs> nice one, Nia. Well. Good job. Maybe you can only follow up if it's a, if it's a higher skill, right? It's gonna be level two. I think that's where it is, all right? That's why I can't immediately pick another person's skills because it has to be a level two skill because it's gotta be sequential, right? Like I can start with a level one and then go into a level two and then go into like a level three. I think that's what it is. Cause I, I just noticed I had uh, Tora do his move and my bar didn't go away at all. So that must be what it is. It still remains, but it, until I get a level two for everybody else, it's not gonna show up on the, on the thing. More than likely. Hangar passage. That's where I'm going. Oh, I see the heart to heart. I think it is. Probably works with a key. Damn it. Oh, over here. Here we go. See, I come flung over there. It indicates the location of a heart to heart. Heart to hearts are important events to let you partners grow closer together as friends. You'll so run to these icons all over all rest. So it's good to check them out as soon as you can count them. If you are target, you need to have the right people present in your party at the right time of day. You view the conditions by accessing the icon. More heart hearts you view, the bond of trust and affinity between you and your blades will deepen. Wait, between the blades or my other party members? One thing I always remember, I remember being kind of annoying in the last game was there was like, there was a ton of heart hearts that had like these prerequisites that were like, you know, you had to be a certain like affinity level to get them. And it was kind of annoying. I'm just gonna... Room by you. Don't mind me. I'm gonna have a heart to heart with my friends over here. The inside of a Titan battleship is way different from a Monocera, sir. Eh? Oh, it's voice too. That's cool. What is Monoceros? Rex, you saw it, right? More that appear back in Goldmouth. Jin and Co's black boat. Ah, that really impressive one. It runs without being hooked up to a Titan, right? So it just like jumped right into it. I didn't even see what the prerequisites are. Where were they? I thought I was gonna hit the button. It was gonna be like, do you want, like that's what I think I did before. It was like, here are the prerequisites. Do you wish to confirm or, you know, do you have enough for it? I'm no expert, but yeah, looked like it. Sound awesome. Tora want to see too. You won't get the chance unless we see those Torna guys again. Meh, 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 meh. Meh, meh, Tora changed mind. I need to see. Master Palm changed mind at Dump Up Hat. I mean, fucking, did you even see those guys? Tora, do you even know where the fuck we're talking about? Well, the Minoceros was pretty sweet, but this is nothing to scoff at either. For sure. It's full of things I've never seen before. Ah, that's because this vessel is result of latest breakthroughs in our Danian tech. Regular folk never so much as set foot on board. I wonder if there are any choices in this. Usually there were, there were choices in the other one, the you previous. You say breakthroughs in technology, but what you mean is salvage stuff, right? Um, not exclusively. I see lots of homegrown improvements as well. Like this, see? Whatever they've stuffed in here, it's been messed with so much, I can't tell what it was to start with. That control panel, it transmits signal to tighten nerves. By running cables to different parts of Titan from here, can control signal flow much more better. Much more better? What? That's amazing. And this cable itself has 2.4 times the speed and 12 times the capacity of previous iteration. In other words, it's on whole other level to stuff other countries use. Tornos is tech shit, doesn't they? Ah. So if they put this in a smaller Titan vessel, it would work even better. Ping pong! Correct! Ping pong! <sighs> they seem to be having fun, but it's all gibberish to me. Poppy, what do you think? I don't think anything! I love Master Pond! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, there is! What should Poppy say? What does Poppy... Wow, really? Po I'm picking Poppy's thing? That not even so bad. Why Master Pond acts so proud? Why? Why Master Pond acts so proud? Tell me! Tora, very glad you ask. That because tech used in this Titan battleship is same as what Poppy's muscles and drivetrain use. Poppy is surprised. Poppy is surprised, and now she's surfing. But however, though, ones that Poppy use are even more improved than these here. Yet more surprised. Ah! Are you saying you stole the tech from Mora Dane? Come on, Tora. Is that what you call sporting behavior? Take calculated risk in service to cause of scientific advancement. As 
result, not even our Danian scientists capable of reverse engineer poppy systems. That's right. Look at this anime. They couldn't do this. They couldn't make this this level of anime. So, no worries there. Upon learning secret of Poppy's birth, Poppy feels sense of unease. Ah, Poppy said. Uh, everything fine. Probably. Now, Rex Rex, no time for chit chat. Let's get going. Poppy's like, what? <laughs> That was cool. I was actually neat that uh, it was all totally voiced, too. It was definitely not voiced in the last game. Ardanian technology complete. I don't know if it... Uh, <laughs> these guys are still here. Oh, they're not talking. All right, let's come back. Let's go back to looking out this window again. I couldn't even tell, though. Who was it building up between Poppy and Tora? Was that it was? I guess, actually, it's more about the blades than between the party members, isn't it, this time around? So I guess it was. It probably was. It was between Tora and Poppy. More than likely. I think I did good. I think we picked that one right. I think. Assuming it matters at all. Okay, we got a door over there. Running, running. Ah, not much further to exit. Not so fast, my dear intruder. Dear intruder. Letting a terrorist from Torna ah. out of my grasp would make me look very bad indeed. That big old weird thing behind him. Oh, that emerald core crystal. You must be the Aegis. Much as it pains me to admit it, it seems Borad was right on the money. You know who Power is? Are you trying to capture her too, you rat bag? Rat bag? No, no, language. But of course. The most powerful blade in all of history, with the power to rend all rest asunder. Asunder? Only a fool would know of that power and not seek to claim it. And I am no fool. Therefore, I will claim her as my own. You cannot argue with such logic. I shall marry her. Flaw detected in final step of logic. Sorry, pal. But you've done all the capturing you're gonna do today. Such impertinence for a dirty terrorist. <laughs> this guy's, Let's go. This guy's axe is hilarious. Got it. Oh shit, find this weirdo and his weird blade. Show oh shit. Do you go. Go. Do you go. Go. But first, let me tell you how to beat this guy, says the tutorial, Sean. What the fuck was that? What? <laughs> Did the speed light go down? <laughs> his fucking voice line got weird. Uh, now we got ourselves a decent sized party. It's worth knowing how to deal with aggro. I dare say you've already noticed, but while a driver is being attacked by an enemy, they'll be marked with a red ring. We call this the aggro marker. The wedges on the marker point to the targeting enemy, enemy or enemies, showing the direction you're being attacked from. Aggro is a measure of the enemy's aggression towards the drivers they're fighting. The more viciously you attack an enemy, the more it'll want to attack you back. Drawing aggro is dangerous for healers since they have low HP. They're more likely to be incapacitated by attacks. Uh, make sure to keep Nia's aggro lo low. It's funny, because she really doesn't actually have that much lower M HP than Tora and myself, to be honest. It's not that bad. She's, she's just a level lower. Drivers that have defense-oriented classes are better equipped to draw aggro and absorb enemy attacks. So right now, it's better for Tora to have the most aggro. Drivers with fighter-type classes are the ones that focus on dealing damage to the enemy. That's Rex, so make him the main of your offense. Here's the cheat seat. Defenders take the hits. Healers heal. Defenders, fighters hurt the enemy. And I know about aggro and driver class. Two things to keep in mind while giving Dugal what for. Ha ha. Bullseye. Bullseye. Now, do I attack the other thing behind him? No, I just attack him. More. Oh, no, it's him. Rocky. Rock and roll. I thought it was Dugal's voice getting, like, slowed down. You can't do Wait, what's this? Uh, I just actually realized. What's the little icon to the left of Pyra's portrait down there? What is that? Oh, I think I'm. I think I'm guiding my party members. Punch Dugal. Oh God damn it! Now you get three million party. I mean. Quick primer and the ceiling effects of blade combos. Yes, the thing on the top right. Take a look at the indicators the arrow's pointing to. These show the various ceiling effects that can be applied if you execute a stage three blade combo. The final special use of the blade combo will determine which ceiling effect is inflicted depending on the combo route. Once inflicted, a ceiling effect will continue until it gets overridden by another seal. What does it mean though? Like seal their abilities or something? 
Regardless of type, stealing your enemy puts you at in a massive advantage, so you should go all out and try and hit home with a stage 3 blade combo. Now, there's one drawback to be aware of. When you hit the enemy with a stage 3 blade combo, they'll acquire a resistance to that combo's element. What? Why? When this happens, an orb signaling that resistance will appear around the enemy. These are called element orbs. Attack the enemy with the same element as the orb, and you'll do greatly reduced damage. This means that using the same combo repeatedly will deal much less damage. So when you use blade combos, you should experiment with different roots. So what am I sealing now? What? Sealing reinforce. I guess this must be his abilities? Gotcha. What? What's happening? That coward. He's just hiding behind his blade. He's fine. We're doing damage to him. What? Doing fine. Does common sense elude you? A blade can regenerate from any injury. Whereas if I die, my blade will return to a useless core. So it's okay to use them as a living shield. My blades are my friends, and those are my power. Even if they can regenerate, that doesn't mean blades don't feel pain. They love just like us. <laughs> How cute! The Fleabag thinks we should care about blades' feelings. <laughs> I wonder if you can feel pain. Yeah. This better not reset your HP. Okay, good. Now he's just like, now I'm over here. But did reset my combo potential. Ita Uta Buta. Excellent. Okay, so then we got. Now if I can get uh, wind or something, so I guess switch to add a nine. Blow him down. I get level three. Uh, oh man, that's, that seems kind of hard, man. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, we lost it. It's a, that seems really hard to do, honestly. It probably gets easier as we go, get along in the game, but at this point, it seems tough. This guy seems to be weak to water. Blow the man down. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god, spin! Ah! This guy's like, oh shit, I'm almost dead. I better run for the door. No escape. Pouch expansion! Cool! Man, we're get multiple pouch items or something? A mingy flea bag and a bunch of stinking kids. I triumphant return to more Ardane with the Aegis. Oh. Yeah, I'm dead. Out like a light. That's what he gets for trying to execute Nia. What? He was trying to take me back to more Ardane. Oh. Rex, this is a trap. A trap? So they weren't actually going to execute you? No time! Talk later, Rex Rex. We should escape! It's a trap! Master Pawn is right. Chance of reinforcements very high. Let us make haste. Getting out of town would be a good start. Run! <laughs> His little hair's still blowing. Celestial gift. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Wait a minute. Can I just teleport out of here? Hey, guys, look, we're out. We did it. We did it. We escaped the fortress. We're, we're, we're fine. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're supposed to be able to do that. Oh, yes, of course. Teleporting. That was our answer all along. Why didn't I think of that? Ah, uh, my immersion. Oh, I could just go out the way I came in, but nah, that'd be too easy. Oh, hey, it is just over here. All right. My cunning ingenuity has rewarded me. Just, yeah. 
Rex, will you stop staying on top of it? You're all mine. Scale chip. Oh, good. Put that chip on the little electric girl. Holy mother of God, that knocks that shit way the hell up. 14 to 69, dude. Now that's a hammer. It does seem like once you equip them with the core chip too, you can't actually take it back off again. Like it's consumed. Whoa. Oh, suddenly the lights turn on as we go out here. Congratulations. I was like, this is like it's still inside the ship. Guess, guess not. Tarek off. Relay base. Still hoofing it. Ah, fucking door. It's again. It's her. Oh, fuck. Slowly walks through the flames. Burr, burr, burr. And with a driver too this time. That's Morag, the flame bringer. The flame Morag. bringer. Special Inquisitor Morag of Morardane. The most powerful driver in the Empire. And wielder of yep. Rigid, The most powerful. Well, blade. fuck us. So together they're like ultra powerful. Shut up, Rex! It looks like they were waiting for us. Yes, indeed. I did feel like we got away a little too easily. I don't know why I expected Dougal to slow you down at all. <laughs> it was you, right? You're the one who spread the rumor that I was going to be executed. Just to lure Rex and the others here. You catch on quickly. Clever girl. Yes. You certainly proved useful. However, Rex and Pyra are the real price. <laughs> Not quite. The Emerald Core Crystal is the sign of the Aegis. If that blade is indeed the Aegis, then there's something I must do. What do you mean? Uh -oh. The power to sunder all rest itself. I cannot allow that to happen again. Again? Hyra destroyed the world. Don't be so stupid. Oh, she wants to destroy it. You mean you didn't know? 500 years ago, during the Aegis War, the Aegis sank three continents to the Cloud Sea's bed. Damn. Three titans destroyed. I speak not but historical fact. I'm on to you. You want to use Pyra as some kind of weapon? We're not going to let you do that. Rex, have you been listening to what she said? That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. And what if we resist? Oh, shit. Then I will have to restrain you by force. She quite literally wants to destroy her to prevent that. In that case, I'll make this nice and clear. You will never take her! Oh my gosh, she's got a Bloodborne weapon. Double Bloodborne whip, swords. <laughs> then let's see if you have the strength to back up those words, boy. Boy! Holy shit, badass. Oh my god. Damn, this chick has the best character design in the fucking game by a fucking landslide. Punch, punch. Okay, you're also weak to water. Sadly, I don't have I don't have water, so. Now I'm fired up. Leave it to Tora. That's right, the power of friendship is magic, as we all know. Alright, here we go. Ah. Okay, if I can get wind, level three, which seems very unlikely. Oh shit, what is she doing? I think she's blocking everything. Oh wait, no, 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 let's do this one. I don't know if I can get this shit, man. This shit seems really tough. But like, you really gotta plan this thing out. Oh, 
Oh wait, wait, no. I think maybe I did get it. Cool. Oh, I think I got it. Whoa, steel shackle drive. Cool. Oh man, I knocked her in her ass. Damn, somehow Tora got that shit to level three. A million volts. Oh, she did the wrong one. That I suppose there's no wind build up for this one though. Yeah, so this actually this won't do anything, right? Essentially, yeah. My choices were fire and lightning. So I could have switched over to uh, Pyra. I'm actually noticing. I think my uh, oh my cooldown for my moves on each of the blades though is is separate. Oh, that might be how you do it. It's actually different. Like I, I can basically then switch to one of my other blades in the middle, all right? Oh shit, I fucked up. Yeah, in the middle of it to then build up more moves, right? Yeah. Oh shit, I get it. Boom. Oh my god. So everyone's talking so much. However, if I switch back to my blade to like Pyra, which oh this oh is the cooldown. Sorry, I'm like figuring this shit out while punching her in the face. This is actually a cooldown. I can't immediately switch back to my previous blade. <laughs> We're about to lose in the cutscene again. Come on! We beat you. Pyra! Pyra! Anime! Ha! 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 Ow! Stubborn child, why don't you just give it up? Slightly better scream. Not great, but slightly better. You'll never get Pyra. She's more than just the Aegis or some kind of weapon. She's a living being. She's my friend. Come here, girl. Damn, he's just going in. Pyra has somewhere she needs to go. And I'm going to help her. I'm not going to let you stand in her way. In her way. Holy shit. This is getting tiresome. Goddamn badass. The power of the Aegis is formidable, but the driver's skill betrays her. Fucking gets to get Tenshu. Stay vigilant, Morag. An unknown power lurks within this bow. Power of friendship? But of course. This blade he calls Pyra. Your flames burn far stronger than hers. But her flames hide something deeper. Is everyone all right? Everyone's on fire. Hanging in there. Those two are very strong. I know. At this rate, we'll never... There has to be a way. Some kind of... Water! Fireplay. Water hurt what? We've got to find... I don't have a water blade, though. Water. The power of water! There. Guys, are you ready to run? Hmm? Sure. Then follow me. Just say run. Pyra, can you manage Wait, a full powered blast? What even yes. happened? Maybe one or two. That'll do. Why did the wall go down? Ah! So they had a firewall up. Why did it go down? I think I missed something there. Yeah! 
You're getting predictable, boy. Boy! Ah! Run! Look who's talking! Puppy! No! Puppy! Roger, Roger! Ah! Eat this bitch! The water time. So that's their plan. She's like, I have a lot of time to move out of the way, but I'm gonna sit here and talk instead. My god, it's coming this way! What do I do? Okay, there we go. Pin her down! No, you stay right there! Oh! Ah! Puppy's like, oh, why'd you say so? It's like one of those water dowsing things in a water park. Fucking like dumps a giant bucket on you. Holy fuck! Get the gun! Get you! I'm fucking gonna blow up this whole city, brah! Fuck you, Toragoth. Ooh, steamy. I feel slighted. How so? They actually held back against me in battle. You think that boy... Did you not see? He could have struck me with that blow. But he averted his aim. What an asshole! He did have good instincts, too. And I'm gonna help her. I'm not gonna let you stand in her way. The Aegis. If she is traveling with that boy, perhaps it is worth letting them roam free for a while. You mean... We'll cross paths again. And when we do, we shall see. Okay, that character has the best design so far I've come across in any of these characters. Holy shit. She's badass, dude. Oh my god. The fucking weapons and stuff. Just like her outfit itself. It's like, shit. It's cool. I don't think they're following us. Perhaps we're safe for now. You're right. We should get some rest. I can't go any further. Ah, oh, Tora is pooped as well. <sighs> if only we had fast traveled out of there. See you later. Bye. Huh? We are grateful for all you've done. We wish you well on your travels. Fuck you, Nia. Farewell. Get back here. You're not going anywhere. I want to reach Elysium. What? What? I made a promise. I'm taking Pyra to Elysium. It's just... She gave half of her life to save mine. I owe her. Oh, Rex. But half the world seems to be after her. With the... Titans dying off. Living space is running out. That's gonna start wars. And people need weapons to fight wars. That's why they want her. If I can prove Elysium exists, maybe I can stop the war that's coming. But fighting Morag taught me something. I'm not strong enough. I can't do this alone. Fucking Tor, what are you doing, dude? Nia, you're a driver. We could really <laughs> use a fucking shove out of the way. If you wanted. To no sound effects. Elysium. Do you really believe in that myth, kid? Well. Pyra told me that she was born there. Yet here she is. So it must exist. Right? <laughs> Your logic is almost as good as Dougal's. Listen, Rex. I don't know if you're stupid or just too nice for your own good. But what if Pyra's just lying? 
What if this is all an act, and one day she turns around and stabs you in the back? I've already had that happen before. Pyra wouldn't do that. Of course I wouldn't. I don't have a knife. <laughs> so serious. She I would, but I, I don't have a stabby <laughs> instrument. <laughs> An emerald core crystal is the sign of the Aegis, huh? Sure, why not? This could be interesting. Yeah. Really? My lady. My lady? I kind of want to see this Elysium for myself now. Maybe it really does exist. It does. I bet my pants on it. An endless field of green among the clouds, huh? If the legends are true, even people like me. What do you mean people like you? What's wrong with you? You're just a funny cat girl. What are you talking about, Nia? <sighs> I'm sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? Healed a boo-boo arm. It's fine. I'm fine. See? I can swing it like this, and it doesn't even... Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Uh. I knew it. You're such a bitch, Rex. Thanks. I feel much better now. I'm sure that's Nia's poultice doing its job. Thanks. Sleepy kitty. Ha! <laughs> Pyra? You hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Hey, let me help. Thank you, Rex. No worries. Least I can do. Rex, you're having a moment. There, all done. How's that? Pay attention. Look, Rex. Hmm. Looks good. Um, Rex? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Look, they're the same. We match. Oh. Uh, yeah. I guess they are. <laughs> Old man, about to catch on fire, too. Aww. So beautiful. Yeah. It really is. I guess... That's probably because you made it, Pyra. What? Um, no. What? I didn't mean it like that. You're just, um, really good at making fires. That's all. You're just really hot, Pyra. Like fire. It's what I do. Only you can create forest fires. Whoosh. Pretty. So, so there's a lot of brush around here. I feel like this could be a problem if we're not careful. Chapter 2, Aptitude. Cool! Seems like each chapter ends with a crazy anime, like, fucking battle or something. Okay! Well, awesome! I, I actually have a distinct feeling we'll probably have a change to the title screen then, potentially, next episode. So we'll probably start there, but, um... Yeah, I think this is a good place to end things here for now. Very cool, man! That was pretty neat. It was a nice little scene, too. I'll definitely say Morag is definitely the coolest character in this game so far. By a country mile. And I'd say I probably like Nia's design next. And then Tor, Tor is actually pretty good, too. Tor actually looks pretty nice. With the two outliers and weirdos being Rex and Pyra. Just being a little, a little, a little much. <laughs> but it's interesting. Like, I don't know exactly what Nia is referring to. She seems to sort of consider herself an outcast, and I don't really know why. 
But yeah, I still feel like I'm barely scratching the surface of this battle system here. I was like, I just finally actually managed to pull off on my own the, like, the actual triple, uh, or level three blade combo or whatever. But it seems kind of tough to pull off. But I did figure out that the effects or the, the cooldowns on your blades are separate. So if you jump to the other one quickly enough, you can then get like a bunch of levels really fast. Cool. And actually, it'll, it'll be even easier than once they actually unlock seemingly a third slot, right? For another blade. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a piggy penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.